Good day, good day, everybody. Uh, welcome to, you know, Easter Check with the Journalist. I'm Andile, of course, uh, the journalist. And today we have a lady in the house. Um, she goes by the name Pixie L. She's a, an amazing vocalist slash singer, songwriter, all the way from Pretori, you know, Pretoria. And yeah, man, you know, she has been featured on... Um, a lot of tracks by a lot of producers and yeah i can't wait to chat to pixie and actually i've been looking forward to chatting to her about her career and you know just to understand her story and all that so it's finally happening yes 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 i'm excited i'm excited so you know it's always a pleasure to have a lady in the house and uh you know because um you know the dance scene it's full of men, you know, it's full of men. Uh, we need diversity, we need diversity. So I'm trying to add Pixie. Let me send a request uh, so that she can just uh, join in. There you go. Hello. Ooh. Hi. Hello. Let me, can you see I just want to switch my camera quickly. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> ah. Are you good? Are you good? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right, man. You know, um, I, I'm just excited to to be talking to a lady for a change. You know, um, I'm always talking to men, but that's not my fault. Yeah. Because a lot of the times when I reach out to, um, you know ladies in the dance music scene they just don't respond or they're never available but anyway i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're here how are you are you good i'm happy to be here as well my network seems to be cool, so it's me. no 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 i can hear you fine um i can hear you oh, fine. Okay. i can see you as well yeah yeah all right but yeah i'll let you know if there if there are network issues no? okay so, Pixie M, tell me yes. about, you know, um, I want to I wanna go deep. I want to know the whole story about you, you know. So, you know, with the name as well, you know. You're, I have to say, your name sounds very, you know, like a singer type of age. Yeah. You know, I don't know why, you know, why Pixie M. <laughs> Um, picked okay. Well, back then, you remember the mm -hmm. there was a friend of mine who to call me. So, what did, what did your friend call you? He called me his fairy, he's the one who called me Pixie. Oh, so Pixie, Pixie, fairy. okay. Yeah, so that's how that's, that's how the name came about. So when I was asked what name I would use for, um, you know, the music, I, I couldn't think of anything else apart from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That guy must have liked you, hey, to call you his fairy. Mm. I, think, man, I think now I'm not like that guy. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe he's your future husband if you're not married already. No, Sham, we must touch. Yeah? Oh, you know what? I think there's a story there. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's not about that. So you're from Pretoria, and you know Pretoria is such a a cultured place when it comes to house music, man. When did you fall in love with 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 you know music? Okay, let me start by saying, I grew up in Pretoria, but I currently live in Guam. You currently, right? okay, I, I, keep, I keep losing you now, but it's not a network. I think maybe your hand is covering the speak or something. You say you were born in Pretoria, but where do you live? I live in Guam, in Pumalang. Oh, oh, okay. Shout out to Pumalang. Okay, so what, what's your relation with, with Pretoria? Um, Pretoria, I grew up there. I spent, I spent most of my teenage years there. 
Um, but my family had always had property in Bunala between the two places. Until 20, I think it was 15 or 14, I, I, I came back to side family. But I still have family to mm -hmm. You know, one thing about, um, and, and, and if you've never been that side or if you don't go that side a lot, you won't know, but there's a very thin line between Mpumalanga and Pretoria, hey? It's like... Exactly. You know, <laughs> like Botswana and, and, and Mafike and Ziras, it's like borders. People there are kind of like the same, but they're not the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, man. And then, and then how did you get into music? Okay, so I had always been making music, right? And I did a few recordings here and there in high school. But I never, I never. Well, so when I came back, this um, a friend of mine, Paul Sandra, approached me. And I did that. That track then got Bob Eddie's attention, and basically that's where everything started. You know, that's how that's when I made it. To I think I, I can do this music thing. You know? Okay, so yeah. Bob E was the first person that you released music with, um, like officially. Um, I don't think it would be fair to say that. I will say I will say was the first one to get recognition outside of uh, where I'm from. Because I did a song with Ukanda before, and it, it, it was, I mean, it was well received, but we, we never put it that much, you know. It was only with Amen that I started getting, like, my voices on radio, and things started to happen. Yeah, it was with Bob Easy when there was, when there was a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, it sounds like, you know, um, you didn't really, like, um, like start early to say, yo, I want to do this professionally, even though you have the gift. So now my question is, how did now, how, how is your family responding to you being into music? Pardon, you were a bit slow there. Uh, how, how, how does your family react to you being in music? Well, okay, at first, I don't think they liked it. I don't think they understood it. But now, everyone is supportive. Yeah, everyone is supportive, especially especially my mother. She's, she's turned into a fan, right? Like, she's in the car, and she hears, she hears the song I'm on playing, and she calls me on, or she'll call me like, oh, I do it. You know? So, but now, she's very supportive. Okay, that's amazing, man. You know, my favorite song by you is a song that I haven't even heard, like, the full version of. I just saw this okay. on social media. And my, is it Emma Zulu? And I was like, yo, this song yeah, yeah. is crazy. That's just the soul, man. You know, when you're saying, I can feel your soul, I'm like, damn. You know, and that's the song I think you did with Bob Easy. Now, when is that song coming out? It's coming out on the uh, 13th of April uh, with his album. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be on his album. Yes. It's going to be on his upcoming album. Okay. It's coming out on the 13th of April. And then that song, like, you know, just give us context on that song because we just heard a small clip of it. What's the song really about? Is it a gospel song or, you know, what message were you, were you, were you bringing across there? Yeah, uh, that song is actually a love song. I don't like writing love songs, but when I heard the beat, um, I didn't want to go you know, too spiritual or too deep like you know, the other songs that I've done. Like, I just wanted something that was going to be simple, a thing along, you know, nothing hectic. So it's basically a love song. It's just a simple love song to appreciate everything. You know? mm -hmm. um, I predict, I see that song being one of your biggest releases. I can, you know, I can just feel it, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay, now I'm going back now. You know, I got ahead of myself. So, um, you know, <laughs> you, you obviously collaborated with Cairo and, uh, you know, yes. the, the two songs that you did with him. 
uh, I actually like you know um, understand me if, if I mean correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think they are the biggest songs from his album in terms of like the masses receiving them well, right? So this I song, I think so. <laughs> I I think so. I don't know. From what I've seen, from what I've seen, yeah. right? Yeah. Just, just just tell me, man. How was it like working with Cairo? Cairo's a chill guy, man. So I mean, it was very really easy working with him. There were no fights. There was there was no fights or anything. You know? I I I enjoyed it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And, and you know, the, one of the songs, the melody goes na 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 na. na. I know what you did there. Can't you wish me some? Actually. Actually, that that was Kyra's idea. So, so Kyra came to me and said, "You know, Vicky, um, I have this concept, and I don't know what you're gonna say in the book, but I would really like it if you if you use a certain melody for that." And I thought, "Oh my word!" Because I mean, what you're asking me to do is. That song is huge, okay. And if if I mess it up, <laughs> then it's on me. But but luckily, um, Ahmed, you know, I I just I I don't know. I I I guess I got it right. Mm -hmm. You did. You did get yeah. it right. And and I assume now that obviously you know, uh, working with a producer like Cairo, you must be getting a lot of DMs, right, from producers to be. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> a lot. So, what does that mean for you know? Um, are you working on a lot of songs? What's that? What does that mean? Um, I think let me let me say I don't want to know. I don't want to make it sound come common, you know. But I obviously you cannot work with everyone. You know, and, and you cannot be on so many features in one year. So I I I am working with with other people, but um, I, like other features, I think will will do you know as 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 time goes on, you know, because I have to focus on on my solo career as well. Yeah, mm. well put, well put. Okay, just one last question on that. Like, but then, how do you select? Who you work with? <laughs> um, I think I think what what I normally do is I I I check if if, if firstly I can um deliver on the work you know if if I can connect enough to a level where I'm I'm confident that I'll be able to give them something that they'll be happy with. I mean, it's not every every project that I can I can jump on simply because sometimes it requires a certain type of voice that I feel maybe I I probably would not be a good person for. So I check whether I can deliver and 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 if, if that will be good for my brand as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. Very, very well put. So you are becoming big as. A vocalist, right? But what is your sound? What is your identity? Sure, you know, I to be very honest with you, I struggle a lot with that um, because I've been asked. I've been, I think one of the other reasons why it, it's, it's taken so long to release anything of my own is because I'm not really sure, you know, the type the type of sound that I want, but. But, but from from the work that I've done, because I've done a few different uh, genres within house, I think I'm more comfortable with your deep house sound, your 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 Afro sound, you know, your your Afro house. So if I do release a project, it will probably have a mixture of of, of those three sounds. I don't think that I would box myself in in one certain something. Because I enjoy, you know, uh, uh, a variety of of of, of songs. Okay, um, Sposh, Spongile, that's your girl. She wants to know, I, but I think you kind of like answered this. 
Uh, do you consider yourself a strictly house vocalist or are you open to other genres? I'm open to anything. I'm willing to do anything. Um, I was saying like on another interview, can we, you know, with me, even if, I, even if I was approached by somebody who does that and they believe that I can sing it, and if I feel that I'm probably not there vocally, I won't even go for singing it. <laughs> I'll go. Like, um, I'm, I'm willing to do any genre. As long as it, it doesn't compromise the band, then we quit. Music is music at the end of the day. I, I can already see you. I can hear you on uh, a Cubs at a Small Beat or a Jersey Disciple or, you know, you know that type of beat. That would be crazy. I Let's let's hope let's hope a little bit more to the night, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I think those yeah. guys. Uh, I think I think they're gonna inbox you. They're gonna DM you soon, you know. So, so because okay. I've done I've done hip hop as well, you know, and I've done, done some hip hop. Yeah, I've done I've done I've done a, I've done a hip hop track with with one of one of the biggest artists. Um, it, it's also gonna be released soon. Uh, you know, I've I've experimented with r and I'm not bad, guys. Mm, mm, mm. So, okay, I'm going to put you on the spot then and ask you, like, you know, when, when can we expect your solo stuff, you know, your, your project to drop? Like, when? Yeah. You know, if, if I had things money. I would release now in June, and I'm I'm really hoping that we can in June or July I'll be able to at least release the single, you know. But but I'm working on that, and and, and if 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 I manage to 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 get all the logistics in place, then I'll be releasing something that's yet definitely. But if not, then like next year I have no fail, I have no in the next year. It's been it's been it's been. A while. Mm -hmm. They say they say you know art can't be rushed you know but hey man you know hey hey you gotta strike it while it's hot I believe um, so yeah. does this mean that um, are you independent or do you have a label? No, I'm independent. I'm not signed. Do you want to be signed? Huh, I'm not sure. Eh? <laughs> I'm not sure. Look, I think I think I think I'm enjoying my my freedom, but let us not uh, be ignorant to the fact that making music is expensive, you know. And obviously, if you're signed, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are easier for you. you know? So hey, when when you own um, especially if you're on your own and you're unemployed, you know, there's a lot of things that that you can't do. Yes, so you must you must do it. So I don't know, we'll see. But at the moment I'm enjoying You you enjoying the indie life. Um uh, yeah man. That's dope, that's dope. You're getting a lot of love, you know. People are saying they love you, they love your voice. I love you. And... Thank you. How Okay, how is fame treating you? Are you are you adjusting well to be famous? I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Like, you know, um, actually, I was talking to 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 my sister the other day. You know, sometimes I even forget. Like when I go to the mall or something, it doesn't even think that there are people who probably need to see something. I don't think about it at all. At all. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, no, you get you better get used to it, sister, because you know, you are big man and you're gonna bless a lot of us with, with, with your beautiful music. Um I cannot wait for your project uh, you know, um to drop because it, it sounds amazing. Uh someone says uh stand up, yeah, yeah, representing Pumalanga in the building. You know it's also from Pumalanga, Cuba. Maybe you must reach out to Cuba, man. Um, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know each other. But you guys would make a killer, killer combo, um, you know? So, yeah, um, you, should, you must reach out to Cuba. You must let me know. I can get you guys in touch because you guys can do something crazy for, for Mpumalanga. You know what I mean? 
so yeah, man. Is there is there anything that you that you want to say that I might have missed? You know about 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 your music that you just want to get out there. No, I think I think we've touched everything. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think I have anything specific to say about my music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. I'll just I, I, say from my side, um I think it's important that you drop like um, you know, a solo project, uh, you know, um, you know, singles every 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 now and then, you know, just bless us with singles because um that's needed also for your brand, you know. Um so that uh, and you know, take your time with it. You know, like 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 we said earlier, art can't be rushed. It's something yeah. that uh, you must take. With. And I know right now, I'm also one of those people now that are putting pressure on you to release. And I now I realize I'm wrong, but also at the same time, I'm like, mm, am I really? <laughs> so, yeah. Man, line uh, between uh, and right. So you've got you've got a valid point though because. I mean, what, what if I release when it's too late? Mm, mm, mm. So, yeah, no. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm, I've, I've, I've spoken to a few producers, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm basically just waiting for them to sing the projects to this one. There are a few songs that I've written, but they're too deep. I don't know if I'll use them. But, 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 but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, that's uh, Pixie L, ladies and gents. You know, we were just catching up. You know, you know, this was just an intro interview to just you know understand her her backstory. She's a lady from Pumalanga. Uh, spent a bit of time in Pretoria, and she got her name from a friend who sees her as a fairy, which I think is sweet. <laughs> and of course, she's got a you know a voice of an angel, and you know we hear on radio every day. And I think, you know, she's going to take over the airwaves and the scene with, with her talent very soon. So, yeah, man, um, thank you so much for your time, man. I just want to read two more comments. Uh, while Rhino SA says, uh, the next queen of Deep House vocalist, I agree, bro. I agree. Tetelo, yeah. uh, <laughs> um, yo, bro, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Tetelo Gondela says, oh, by the way, I'm a big fan from Ekasi, like a Cairo. Oh, okay, dope. So He's over here. Uh, okay, so thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, for those that came in late, this interview will be posted on my wall. So do check it out. So, so yeah, man, you know, um, thank you so much for supporting the platform. And Pixie L, shout out to you. Uh, let's let's keep in touch. Um, let's talk when you release your your, your project, man. Yeah? Whether it's a song or an EP or whatever, please let's let's catch up and chat about it. Yeah? I'll definitely let you know. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you to everybody who's been commenting and liking. To you know everybody who's showing up, I love you guys too, and I appreciate the support. And yeah, I'm cleaning um. Okay, chef, chef. Thanks. Bye.